now at the verge of determining the title the stage couldn't be set any better for these two titans to clash ladies and gentlemen welcome to the star times uganda premier league but i'm sure that right now his loyalties are not divided one bit he's uh, focused on ensuring that um, he helps vipers win uh, so that they can um, get up top on the log i don't think he can complain much about um, being on the bench his form has not been good so he needs to improve in that regard well, Milton Carissa, the captain, returns to the starting lineup today and now powering his way forward, taking on Gavin Chistomugwe. He cuts on the inside. Alan Okello wants the ball. Okello passes a shot. In the end, Hakim Chiwanuka was clearly on a song. I actually think that um, Isam Biru is one of the unsung heroes in Ugandan football. He's one of those players that is really very consistent, but you hardly hear anybody mention him. But I actually think that he's um, a really adept defender. Shot from distance from Joseph Kafumbe. Speculative. But then they lose the ball just in the instant after just getting it. And uh, Alan Okello not allowed any time to breathe on that ball. Semakula glides away from two markers. Sechiganda, Villa on the roll. Here's Kakande slipping it forward. Hakim Chuanuka testing out the goalkeeper. And that's a corner. On uh, Kambale, he let Vipers have the advantage. They didn't get it and therefore he had to call play back. Not a very good clearance there from uh, Villa and Vipers pick up the pieces. Okello, Mboa has support up front. Fancies a shot there. Sechiganda closing down the space. So back to Okello, the ball goes. Pops it through the space and try to get it on. Milton Carissa will fire in the shot. In the end, was just right down the center here for Jean Brady Wokoraj to pick up. He probably felt that maybe his teammate was in a better position. And I think that um, for him deciding to actually give the ball uh, to his uh, teammate, that's Kambale, was not a bad idea at all. Well, they come again. Kambale now threading it forward here for Milton Carissa. He has the skills to go one-on-one. -on -one. Milton Carissa setting it up here for Alan Okello. Pops it back here, looking for his footing. Squaring it out there for Mubiru. Is he onside? Referee, the flag stays down. Peppers the hands of Bradley Wokorach. It is back from Boa who lets it fly. And Brady Wokoraj. The right kind of movement from the Villa players. And that's the reason why Sechiganda was you know, you know, stretching his arms out, wondering where to put the ball. Okello has support arriving on the shot. Just whistles past the goalkeeper. Good turn from Kakande, keeping a cruise control of the ball under pressure here. And now he'll pull the trigger. In the end doesn't have as much venom as was required and a hefty challenge there from uh, Gavin Chizito Mugweri and it will only serve the purpose for the referee had already blown for half time question will be asked on whether that should have been a penalty in the box area I guess it's uh, more of the latter. I don't think that Arnold Odong is the kind of uh, player that uh, the coach uh, would remove at this particular time, especially when you consider the advantages that he has. He's got the size. He's going to bring yourselves a lot of problems. The fact that they thwarted him before he got uh, close to the penalty area was smart defending. But what a run that was. Brushed off to the box area. Luanga takes no thought of it. Popped up. Ball comes back for the rebound. Milan able to capitalize and that's as close as they have come so far today. Jack Komakech just palms the ball away, the return ball. Gets the ball up front, Abbas Cheyune advanced position, Kakande is up front, Abbas showing too much of that ball to the defense now, Mukundane is left behind reeling, cut back ball and Kakande skies it. Chance here. Lutalo puts the goalkeeper through his passes. Brilliant free kick there from Uma Lutalo. Abbas, Sechiganda. Kakande with a throw pass. Abbas with a shot. Didn't have the power that was required. Uh... Final whistle at the Mutesa 2 Stadium. And in the grand scheme of things, the question will be, Will it be a point gained?